Hello, welcome to Football Tenable, the series in which you're looking for 10 different things from a football related category. And today we're joined by Faisal. How are you doing, mate? Not bad, not bad. Thank you for finally having me on. I've been watching the content from far. But yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure coming on. Yeah, we had uh, Liasan, who uh, beat you in the Mastermind, of course. Ah, uh, you don't. You, you did not have to say that. You did not have to say that. You were the runner-up, so you, you did well to get that far. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really did enjoy that series. But yeah, we're here for Tenable. I think you want me to go first, just to see how I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like chasing, and I wanna, I wanna test your knowledge a little bit. Because it's AFCON, are you able to name me the top ten highest goal-scoring? African players in the Champions League history. Oh, do you know what the annoying thing is? I've done Premier League already and I was about to rack off the first five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all fine. But uh, Champions League's a slightly different kettle of fish. Just a heads up, all the names you should know. That's only maybe one, which is a question mark, but uh, yep. all of them all of them are quite, uh, are quite well known. Lovely. We'll start off with Samuel Eto. Samuel Eto is tenable. He is third mm. with 33 goals. 33. So that gives me a good ballpark. Mm -hmm. They're probably the bottom's about 15, maybe. Let's try somebody who's got probably footy. Yeah, he probably has fewer champions. Although he's been to a few finals. We'll go for Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah is actually number one with 48 oh. goals. In my head, Salah had less than Eto. <laughs> apparently not. We'll go for uh, Sadio Mane then as well. Let's see where he is. Sadio Mane, his teammate, is fourth on the list with 27 goals. Better now. Oh, thought of another player at Bayern Munich. We'll try Eric Chupamoting. Let's see if he's on there. Oh, that's a hey, that, <laughs> that's a good one. Unfortunately, he's not attainable. Can't be that good then if he's not. No, no, no. I never, I actually never thought of him. Yeah, at least two finals with PSG and Bayern. So I was like, yeah. And when then Lewa went to to Barca, he was the main striker. It was a good one. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go for Didier Drogba, man of the final. Didier, he's of course on the list. He is number two with 44 goals. It's more it's more getting those ones that are like 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I'll give you a hint. Number 10 has got 14 goals. Yeah, so my my 15 was actually a great stab. <laughs> yeah. Let me try Yaya Toure. Yaya Toure. Yaya Toure is not tenable. That is very interesting as well. Barcelona. Barcelona, he played mostly as a centre-back yeah. as well during his uh, time there. I've got like... I don't think I'd buy all the numbers in Champions League. But which ones are you thinking of? The thing I'm thinking of is Aubameyang or Adebayor. I don't think either of them really had enough in the Champions League. Mm. Maybe Adebayor. Because he did have that weird stint at Real Madrid from City. Played for Spurs as well for that two, three campaigns in the Champions League. Mm. Convincing me. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got one, I've got one. Riyad Mahrez, surely. Riyad Mahrez, yes. I, I was waiting for that one. I was waiting. Yeah. Riyad Mahrez is tenable. He's number five. Like, I just went around Africa. I didn't even think about footballers. I just went, let's go at the top of Africa, Algeria, Morocco, <laughs> Egypt. There we go. Oh, Solomon Kalou comes to my mind because I think he did get to the final in 2013. Was it 2012? Uh, 2012. He, he started. Yeah. He started in the final. Yeah. Does he have 14 though? Go on then. Let's Let's see if I've got a Kalu. Is Solomon Kalu on there? Solomon Kalu. Uh, uh, Bingo, you should have just trusted your gut with your two uh, players that you mentioned earlier. Because Kalu is not tenable. There we go. The ones that you missed are the, the two players that you mentioned. <laughs> Aubameyang uh, and Adebayo. The remaining mm. three was George Weah, AC Milan. Vincent Abubakar. Abubakar, yeah. Porto got a few. Yeah. Porto and Besitas, I believe he played. The last one is a uh, FIFA Ultimate Go. Said you Dumbia. Dumbia. There we go. Another Ivory Coast player. I think getting those like Abuba cars and stuff like that is what you need to get the full 10 there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. I'm sure some people will get a full 10 there at home. But yeah, let's go into your category. What I'd like you to name me are Real Madrid's top 10 record departures. Oh, that's a good one. It's a big, big range of years on this. <sighs> fair. So top 10. Of course, Ronaldo to Juve must be in there. Cristiano Ronaldo is number one, 117 million euros. All right, cool. Let's say another departure to Serie A. 
is Gonzalo Higuain. Gonzalo Higuain is only just number 10. He is the final person. He got one in 10 straight off the bat. What? Gonzalo? Start. Wait, can I ask yeah. how much Gonzalo was? He was 39 million euros. These are according to transfer market, so uh, blame them if it's wrong. Okay, so he, if he's 38 and Ronaldo's number one. So, oh, uh, Mesut Ozil to Arsenal. Mesut Ozil to Arsenal is number five on the list. 47 million euros. Uh, another player to the Premier League is uh, Angel Di Maria. Di Maria to Manchester United is 75 million euros. And he's number two. Number two, sorry. Uh, let's say Casemiro. I think he went 50 plus. Casemiro is 70 million euros. Number three on the list. I do remember that happened at the time and I was like, surely Man United would have been better off paying that for Declan Rice as a longer term project. Mm. Like Casemiro is a great player, but you're not going to win the title in the next two, three seasons. Uh, and we basically got Chimeni, who we just bought for 80 million, much younger. Than him, so it was, a, it was a good piece of business for Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, brilliant stuff. Rafa Varane. Varane. Sorry, uh, how much was Higuain? Higuain's 39 million euros. You know what? Yeah, let's say, let's risk it. Rafa Varane. Hmm? Varane is 40 million euros and number nine on Ooh. the list. Very nice indeed. <laughs> and you mentioned all players are basically post 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goalkeepers, we don't, we don't. Cassie is no, that free agent. Navas was a low 40. Kiko Casilla. Casino played for Leeds. <laughs> Can you name another Leeds Real Madrid link? Oh, Woodgate. Yeah. Woodgate. 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 Yeah, Jonathan Woodgate. Jonathan Woodgate, yeah. Leeds. His debut was one of the worst debuts I've ever seen. I'm just always amazed when he's, he's got that on his career. Like, fair play to him. He's uh, lived the dream. Oh, yeah. Uh, you've just given me a hint, actually. Rubinho. Rubinho. Rubinho to City. Rubinho to City for 43 million euros. Well done. That is probably one I, I would have forgotten because it was just so long ago. The moment I said Woodgate, I said, you know, let me let me, let me me check his error. Robinho thought he was going to go United. Instead, he went City. You know what? I I, I've got James on my mind. Let's go with James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez to Everton, I assume. I don't think was that much money. He's not tenable. He's, he's not in the top 10. I'll let you know that. But I honestly do not see him in the top 25. Yeah, just seeing, yeah, free transfer to Everton. So it must have been just a cancelled contract and then Everton just pick up the wages kind of thing. But yeah, no hammers. I'm guessing now all of them are now pre-2010. Uh, Post-2010. Oh, post-2010. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'll yeah. let you know that. Oh, what? Oh, Alvaro Mar Alvaro Morata. Alvaro Morata to Chelsea is tenable. He's number four on the list. 66 million. Great shout. Kovacic. Kovacic. Kov Kovacic was there as well, but surely what was about 40? Let's go with Kovacic. So yeah, Kovacic, another one to Chelsea, is tenable. He is uh, 45 million, number six Oof. on the list. Odengard had left recently, but Odengard was not in it. Wait, was Odengard 40? Th the two players in mind, I've got Chabi Alonso and I've got Odengard. Okay, let's go with Odengard. Martin Odegaard is number 11 on the list. You just missed out by one. Where's your second <sighs> life gone? Oh! 35 million on the dot. No! It's only Chabi Alonso. That's the only one like high marquee signings that I can remember. Let's just move on because this video, because if I keep thinking, we might be here for three hours. The last one I'll go with is Chabi Alonso. Chabi Alonso to Bayern Munich is not terrible, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. as your final life. I'm pretty sure that was a free again. I could be wrong. It was free. No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was like it was nine million euros. It was basically free. It was nine million euros. It's like. Might have a five million quid. I'd say it's quite a sneaky one, to be fair. He didn't actually properly play for Real Madrid, but he was out on loan a lot, and then you sold him eventually. Did very well at the World Cup, got to the semi final. Oh, no. Oh, Hakimi. There we go, Hakimi. <laughs> 43 million euros for him to uh, Inter, Inter Milan. Inter Milan. Bit of a sneaky one, that. I like it, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, well done. To get nine, that's very good indeed. Nine points. I'll take it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, I've done some research about you. You are a part-time Roma fan. And most of the time, you always like, especially the, t um, what's the other game? Tic-tac-toe, yeah. Yeah, you always pick Roma. So I've got Roma yeah. tenable. I'm not going to be too Lovely. harsh. I'm not going to say top 10 of all time. I'm going to be very, very recent. They won with Jose the Conference League. Can you name me the 10 outfield players that started in that final? Ooh, that's a good one. Let's start off with a bit of... Hello. Pellegrini. Pellegrini, the captain, 
is tenable. Let's try Chris Smalling. Chris Smalling started and he is tenable. What I'm going to do is write these down as the formation and then I can just fill in the gaps basically. Very smart. Very smart. Yeah. Well, you never know. Could they play four at the back, five at the back, three at the back? I want to say it's five, but you never know with Jose. A special one for a reason. Get him to Newcastle. I predicted it last season. Yeah, it makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's go for Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham started as a striker. He is tenable. Let's try right back, and we will say Karlsdorp. He did start yeah. uh, as a wing back. There we go, five back. Give you a little hint there. Two more centre backs. Let's go for Mancini then. Of course, Mancini started yeah. next to Smalling. Let's try the left wing back. I think that'll be easier. Yeah, let's try. Um, I'm literally looking at his face. Spinazzola. There we go. And the surprise is he came off the bench. He yeah. never started. And then he had a few injury problems. Yeah, he did. Euros and whatnot. Exactly. Who else on that midfield? I'm definitely missing a big name in there. You sure is. Pellegrini. Oh, let's try Nemanja Matic. You locking in? Yeah. Matic did not start. He wasn't a Roma player by then. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still at United at that point, Jesus Christ. Midfielders at Roma. Again, my head's just going to Roger Nine Golem, but that's like 2015. That's, yeah, that's way back, way back then. Struben, De Rossi. The centre back, you should know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a hint. He moved this summer. He went to a complete different continent. Continent? Ah, there we go. Ibans, Ibanez, or whatever his Ibanez, name is. The yeah, Brazilian. That's correct. Yeah, that's yeah. ten of them. Lovely. I like that clue. I still can't believe what they did with Florenzi. Oh, yeah. Mr. Roma and just completely wiped him out of the club. Now I'm missing someone dead obvious in midfield. You are. Oh, there he is. I've just seen his face. Oh, I've lost it now. He was there and then it went. Oh, this is killing me. Let's, let's, yeah, let's say Bove then. Go on. Bove is incorrect. Yeah, final one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me who the workhorse midfielder is. Cristante. Cristante, that is. Oh, yeah, I literally could see his face. I could see his little goatee <laughs> and everything. Cristante. Get... Uh, yeah, yeah. The left wing back was Zalewski. Uh, no then chance. Cristante was playing double pivot next to Michi. Again, Mkhitaryan in my head was an Inter at that point already. Was an Inter, yeah, yeah. The person who scored in the first half was Zaniolo. I'm an idiot um, <laughs> and an absolute fraudulent Roma fan, but yeah, <laughs> I'll take the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Seven? Six. You miss Zaniolo, Michi, Cristante and Zalewski. I've written down Patricia, that's why I've... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get in, but no. No, unfortunately not. But yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And your terrible category is to name me 10 Colombians to play in the Premier League. Ooh, okay. I was going to give you Polish players, but I thought Colombians look slightly more interesting anyway. Colombiana. Okay, let's go with the easy option. James first. James Rodriguez is terrible. Everton, of course. Uh, Ospina. David Ospina. That's a great shout for Arsenal. And he is uh, terrible. Give me Davinson Sanchez for Spurs. Yep, there you go. Oh, my God. What's this guy that played the defensive midfielder that played for Aston? Villa Sanchez. Do you have a first name with that Sanchez? Oh, uh, surely that should count. Depends how nice I want to be. It's quite a common Colombian name, that. So, uh... <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, oh man, I, I, I forgot the greatest Colombian, Falcao. There we go. Radamal Falcao is terrible. I'll let you have uh, Sanchez as well. Sanchez. Go on, then. What's his first name? It's uh, Carlos, Carlos Sanchez. Sanchez. Carlos yeah. Sanchez. Let me go through teams. Arsenal. It's only, it's only Ospina. City. They don't sign Colombians. Chelsea should be the team because they sign everyone from everywhere. Missing a big one currently. I'm missing a big one. Yep, current Premier League player as well. Current Premier League player from Colombia. What? Chelsea, no. Spurs, no. Who else am I missing? Liverpool. 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 No. Oh, oh my god, Luis Diaz! There we go, Luis Diaz is terrible, number Luis six Diaz. on the list. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Ibarbo played for Q... Was Ibarbo oh, part of it? QPR? Q Ibarbo. Victor Ibarbo never played for QPR, but he did play for Watford in the Premier League in 2015-16, so he oh. is uh, terrible. There we go, great, great career. Oh, um, Bournemouth Sinistrella. There we go, Luis Sinistrella is terrible. I always thought he was uh, Ecuadorian, to be fair, but no, he's, he's actually Colombian. Oh, Oh, um, but did he play that that Arias Colombian right back? I know he played in, in the Dutch league. How many more lives do I have? Uh, you got all three lives. So oh, let, let me go with Arias. Might as well. Santiago Arias is not tenable. He played for Bayer Leverkusen, but yeah, never played in the Prem, unfortunately. Oh my God, that's one more centre back. On the that's one more centre back. Oh my God, who's the guy that scored against England in the World Cup? 
Yeah. He plays for Everton. Mm -hmm. His face is there. Can I give you his first name? I forgot his surname. Can I give you his first name? What's, what's his first name? It's Yeri. Yeri, Yeri, Yuri, something like that. It starts with a Y. Yep. Yeri, and I need the second name. Oh, I love Luke. Luke. Yeri Cena. Yeri Cena is not tenable. He's never a footballer. No. Yo, yo, uh, Luke, what are you doing to me? Yeri Cena. Mina. Mina. I know it's something I N A. Am I correct? Yep. Okay. Yeri. You might have said it as well. Have I said it? So I've said Cena. Nina. Nina. Yeri Nina sounds like a yeah sounds like a proper good Colombian centre back. Final answer, Yeri Nina. You've got Nina more points because that's uh, your final life gone. Uh, it's Yeri Nina, mate. Yeah, Yeri Nina. One letter out in the alphabet, but yeah, Yeri Nina. It's Everton. Uh, one for Chelsea, you missed. Currently playing in the Syria. Oh my God, I forgot Cadrado. There we go, Cadrado at Chelsea. I think one of the most frustrating transfers I ever watched was watching Chelsea get rid of Andre Schürrle to bring in Cadrado by like transfer oh deadline day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was like, why are you getting rid of somebody who's really efficient and then going, yeah, just get this random, you know, Colombian right wing back. But he did get points for that round, so fair enough. He's still, he's still beating me very nicely. Okay, the last one. I've got two finals. Mm -hmm. You can basically pick. Do you want to go with 2012 or do you want to go with 2014? 2014. 2014 is a great pick. Can you name me the Argentinian... Oh, well, I didn't want you to do that. World Cup 2014. Really uh, Argentina. <laughs> Germany, I can ace, but Argentina. That team or, is horrible. You know what? Or do you want to go back to 2012? What was 2020? Is that the Netherlands? No, 2012 is the Champions League final between Bayern and Chelsea. No, I'll, I'll do the World Cup. I'll do Argentina World Cup because I know Chelsea's is quite doable, to be fair. It's got like Ryan Bertrand left mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For his debut. Yeah. <laughs> Argentina, 2014. Let's just get Messi out of the way. Get him on there. Messi is the not tenable. He yeah, came off the imagine, bench. Imagine, imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but of Good course... Point. Uh, terrible there. Mm -hmm. And we will go with the, the prequel of La Torre Martinez, uh, Gonzalo Higuain. That is absolutely correct. Start a striker, missed an absolute sitter. I can give you a hint that they played 4-2-3-1. Four, four, mm. Actually, no, 4-3-3, 4-3-3. Mm. Yeah, I think 4-3-3 is a fair, yeah. Pretty sure he played in the win. Oh, yeah, let's get Javier Mascherano. That is exactly correct he played as a dm mm -hmm. it's that defense that's the sticky point let's go for pablo zabaleta zabaleta is absolutely correct tenable great player great servant for city yeah goalkeepers no goalkeeper is it you said starting didn't you outfield you know what I i'll throw in the goalkeeper the thing is that the goal the goalie's a tricky one because they had i want to say it was sergio romero but it could have very easily been oh what's his name he he's never meet he's, he's always been south america there's Armani, and then there is Ruli as well. It might be Ruli for that. That's a tricky one. It probably is Romero there, but I'll, I'll come back to that if I can't think of anyone else. Was, oh, was he there? Yeah, let's go for Marcus Rojo. Marcus Rojo is tenable. He played as a left back that game. I'm glad you've given me that piece of information. I was going to say it at the time, but I didn't want you to like say, no, no. I'm very kind. I'm very kind. Yeah. Rojo. Let's go Otamendi. Otamendi is not tenable. Brilliant. I was just, just typing his name out and he's not even in the team. It's got to be uh, Di Marcellas then. That's correct. There we go. He's the River Plate manager now. He is, yeah. What else have we got? Midfield, surely I'm missing. I want to put a question mark over Enzo Perez, I think. Enzo is his he first name. It's not Enzo Fernandez because he was about 14 then. You're having a literally a complete similar situation with me and Yeremina. So, it's, it, so it does sound like Enzo Perez, but it's not. Paris. Actually, no. You know what? You said no. No, no, it's correct. It's Enzo Perez. It is actually Enzo Perez. Yeah, you that said no, because right, fair enough. Because no, I, lo I was laughing. You said Enzo Eres. I was like, oh my god. Oh, right, fair, it's fair it's like me and me and Yermina now. But now Enzo Perez is, is correct. Yeah, yeah. He started a three-man midfield next to Mascarano and someone else. So you're missing one more midfielder. You're missing the left winger. You're mm -hmm. missing the centre back. And you're missing the goalkeeper? Yeah. The question of the left winger is between whether Di Maria was on that side or it was Lavezzi. 
I've got some lives. I might as well try the goalkeepers. Let's go for Romero. And you said Romero, Romero goal. Romero is tenable. There we go. Thank God for that. Save me a life at least. Uh, we will go for the left winger then. Got a 50-50. We'll try Lavezzi first. And Lavezzi is tenable. There we go. Loved him. Back in that era. PSG and Napoli. Him, Hamsik and Cavani. Great era. I'll give you a hint when you're on one, one life remaining. Cheers. You got, you got two lives now. You can you can take some risk. Yeah, yeah. I think centre backs are more doable. I think the, the centre mid one is a bit of a funny one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why, but I want to say Colacini for the centre back, and I know it's wrong. There's <laughs> <laughs> just no way Colacini is playing 2014 World Cup final. Let's try Ava Benega for the midfield. Go on. Ava Benega is not tenable. What's your clue then? Now I've only got one life. Okay, so you want the clue for the centre back or the centre mid? The centre back. Okay, centre back. So when Madrid signed the second Galactico era of Ronaldo, uh, Benzema, Kaká, Xavi, Alonso, he was part of that famous picture. It was Ronaldo, Benzema, Kaká, Xavi, Alonso, Abeloa, and mm -hmm. he was the sixth member. Oh, it's gonna kill me. This is. You know him, yeah. Yeah, I definitely know. Just uh, the only one I can think is Gabriel Heinze. Do you know what? I thought. I ain't got a clue. I really don't have a clue. So I'm just going to say Gabriel Heinze. Is he in that picture? Unfortunately not. No. It was Ezekiel Garay. Garay. There we go. Yeah, if you gave me like Zenit or, you know, just Denny. Exactly. I was My second yeah. team, I was either going to say Zenit or Benfica. But I was like, that's going to mm -hmm. give it away. And, yeah, and the other player yeah. was Lucas Biglia for Lazio Biglia. and, and yeah. AC Milan. That makes a lot of sense. But not bad. A 9 out of 10? Yeah, I'll take that. Better than the previous rounds anyway. So what I want you to name me are players to win the Champions League with more than one club. But shall we exclude any ones that have won it with Real Madrid? <laughs> there is one that I might let you have. Any, any, anyone with less than 10 games for Real Madrid. There you go. Cool. <laughs> okay, let's go with the most obvious one. Samuel Eto'o, back to back. There we go, Samuel Eto'o. One of the most incredible transfers, in my opinion, of uh, world football. 50 million and Eto'o for Ibrahimovic. And you wonder why they're in debt now. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. And you know what? Funny there enough, it... my mind is blank mm. now. There is one for Derby County that I just love bringing up now. What, a player that played for Derby? Yeah, I don't think Derby County knowledge is going to be that good, though, to know who uh, played and got two Champions League winning medals for different clubs. Is this post-2000? Yeah, this player is. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean, most of the, 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 the players, is it post-2000? Most, most are... Yeah, I think 95 onwards. 95 definitely helps if you know who won it that year. Cool. All right. Okay. There's probably enough in post 2000 anyway. Let's think of 2000 to 2010. That's a good one, actually. Mm -hmm. 2003 was AZ Milan. 2004 was Porto. Ooh, Porto is a good one because Porto, they had a couple of players that went and then went. Uh, let me say Deco. Great shout. Deco is with uh, Porto and Barcelona, I believe. They were the two clubs. Yeah. So Porto 2004. So who? left Porto and then moved on so it was Deco it was Carvalho it was Chelsea but he, he was surely not he wasn't part of the 2012 because he played for Real Madrid at that time then it was Pablo Ferreira but was Pablo Ferreira part of 2004 surely not then he had Basingua but Basingua wasn't part of that 2005 was Liverpool Steven Gerrard Chabia like Chabia Alonso won it in 2005 then he won it with oh, I, I won it with Real Madrid uh, so. <laughs> that's, that's why I took out Real Madrid because there is there is a lot of Real Madrid related ones. 2006 was Barcelona. Henry Larson was he part of 2008? Let's go with Hetla. Okay, that, it's gonna be it's gonna be wrong. I'm either thinking 2008 or 1999 when the United won it, but but he was a Celtic back. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Henrik Larsson. Henrik Larsson. I don't think he's tenable, unfortunately. I will double check it, though. But I don't think he was at United that season. Yeah, he was at uh, Essen Borgs. Fair enough. Yeah. 2007, AC Milan. You had Kaka Seedov. Yeah. Oh, my God. Seedov. 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 He won with mm. Ajax. He won with Ajax. And what would the other team be? Real Madrid. <laughs> and no, uh, Seedov won with Milan and Ajax. There you go. I'll let you, I'll let you have it for that, that connection. Obviously, <laughs> won it three times with Real Madrid as well. But yeah, Clarence Seedov. Such an underrated player. 2008 was United. United. Ronaldo. Rooney. Can't be Rooney. Van der Sar. Van der Sar played for Ajax. Let me say Van der Sar because I think he was part... Of the 19 uh, squad. Uh, okay, I'll lock in Van der Sar. Edwin Van der Sar is tenable. 95 and 2008 with Manchester United. 
Okay. Very good indeed. He did have the record for furthest distance between Champions Leagues until quite recently. So, so who's the most recent one? I can't give you that because that would be one of the answers. Oh. <laughs> Let me go because United had Jared Piquet. But it's just a question, was was part was he part of the 2008 squad? Okay, Jared Piquet. Gerard Piquet made three appearances for Manchester United in their 2008 tribe, so that is terrible. Wasn't in the squad for the final, but he played uh, enough in the group and whatnot. Okay, let me ask this. Am I missing anyone post-2010? Yeah. How many? Um, Probably about five, to be fair. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. One, two, three. There's plenty of wins post-2010 like, anyway. 2012 for Chelsea. Okay, now think, let's, let's think Chelsea. Let's see. Wow. Sturridge for 2012. Sturridge, what? 2012 and 2009? Never. 2013 was Bayern. Ah, Tony Cruz is just there! Well, no. Um, no. <laughs> 2014 was Madrid. 2015 was Barca. Unless Pedro. Hold on. Was Pedro part of the 2000 and. So I've got how many lives? Two more left. Was Pedro part of the Chelsea uh, team in 2021? Or did he leave before that? Let me say Pedro. Pedro is not terrible. He did not win it with Chelsea. No. He left in 2020. Must have been literally just before. I'll tell you, you've said at least two players that do work. I've said two players that, that well, that's work. That do work for this. It's going to be another Yerimina. So Liverpool, Alisson, no, Van Dijk, no. They had Shaqiri off the bench. Shaqiri. Hold on, Shaqiri's part of the Bayern. Was Shaqiri part of in 2013 i've got one life left oh my god storage <laughs> okay <nah. laughs> oh my god uh, you know you know you know what you start thinking and you, you've you, you've mm -hmm. got players okay so i've got shakiri in mind but i don't think shakiri's part of 2013 with bayern and i've got storage in mind storage makes sense because Stor hey, okay, storage 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 daniel storage is terrible he did win it in 2012 and 2019 with liverpool as well 2020 was who? probably the most boring final during lockdown oh Bayern and psg mm -hmm. Bayern, PSG. lee was the he was the mid freeman midfield it was it was tiago hold on tiago 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 was it was tiago part of 14 15. tiago must have been there for either 11 11 campaign or the 14-15 campaign. Let me say Thiago. Thiago Alcantara was not there for 14, was not there for 15, but he was there for 2011 with Barcelona. <gasps> and that does work very nice indeed. Is there any more players post-2010? There's one that has both wins post-2010, and then there's others that have won at least after 2010. Last season, City, City, they all won it for the first time. Are you sure about that? Oh, don't do this. Don't do this, Pingu. There was someone in that City squad. That's won it before. Yep. You might have played for Derby as well. Huh? Two-time Champions League winner. You know this guy's name. He wasn't in the start of 11. I'll give you that. Wait, wait. What's the gap? 17 years? 18. 18, 18 year he, gap. He must he, what? So what? He won it with City when he was 40. So who's, who's the bench? The bench is the, the goalkeeper. Who's that? Um... Oh! Uh, <laughs> Scott Carson! Viva Scott Carson. Scott Carson. Two times Champions League winner. Former Derby County player. Is what, two, two times? So what? City and mm -hmm. who else? Liverpool. He was on the bench for both finals. He was part of 2005, <laughs> Liverpool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Okay, I've got two left led. Let me say the one that I was deciding between. Let me say Shakiri because mm -hmm. I think Shakiri was was part of Bayern. I might be wrong. Shakiri. Jordan Shakiri did only play two minutes for Bayern Munich, but it does count. He does have two Champions League winning Come medals. On. Very nice indeed. And the last one. That was that was the only other post 2010 with both the finals. Oh, so now it's only. There is there was at least one back to back winner in the 90s. But it's whether you know your winners back then. Okay, so I'm guessing if it's from the 90s, there must have been part of both AC Milan and Ajax. Van Basten, I, I've got Van Basten in mind, I've got Cruyff in mind, no, not Cruyff, sorry, uh, Richard, uh, Rickard in mind. Surely Van Basten was vulnerable. Uh, let me say Van Basten. Okay, Van Basten is not tenable. He just won two European Cups with AC Milan. Nothing with Ajax, unfortunately. So 2001 yeah. was Bayern. He was part of Bayern's team. I don't know if I should put, put the pressure on, but there is one from that year. What, from Bayern? Yeah, 2001. I know Hargreaves was there, but... Hold up. Uh, what's the guy on BT Sport? What's his name? Owen Hargreaves. No, that's another one. Uh, Steve McNamara. Uh, Steve. Yeah, yeah, Steve. <coughs> Steve McNamara. So Steve scored a goal for Real Madrid in the Champions League. It's either one of those two. It's either Hargreaves or Steve Mc... uh, or Steve, whatever his name is. Steve McNamara. You mean the one that played for Real Madrid? Yeah. Yeah. So which one oh are you Oh my for? god, yeah. I can't... <laughs> 
I cost this new. So you know what? Let me say uh, Harbour Grooves because I can't. That's the only one I can think of. If if you talk about 2001 buy-in, mm -hmm. let me say Harbour Grooves. Harbour Grooves final answer. Owen Harbour Grooves, you've been through a hard time, and you do have the full turn. It is Owen yes! Harbour Grooves to uh, <laughs> finish it off very nice indeed. To be fair, he did say two more as well. He said uh, Palo Ferreira and Jose Basingua both did it with uh, Porto and Chelsea. Oh no way! But it, it was a funny one because like obviously if they were still at Chelsea at that point obviously they were just kind of backup players Mossad Dassey with Marseille Ooh. and Milan Didier Deschamps with Marseille yes. and Juventus Thiago Motta's a good one Barcelona in 2006 and Inter Milan 2010 Motta was part of 2006 works. Barca yeah 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 that's, oh, that's interesting. a sneaky one that. I think that's all of them to be honest yeah that's all the remaining ones he did well to get all 10 very nice indeed you have won the episode thank you I think you did rather well very nice categories today yeah my great debut but well, thank you like I said thank you for having me on I've got a confession to make during the Christmas episodes where you just thrown out every, every day it was literally one of my missions before I go to sleep I have to watch one of the episodes lovely appreciate that I'm glad you enjoyed and uh, yeah if you haven't already check out Faisal drop him a follow and all that good stuff on all the social medias drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time